the story's about um, uh, possibly the search for some kind of uh, redemption in life for uh, two characters. And I think the lecturer, through witnessing that and uh, assisting, begins to learn and realize his own restrictions. So um, there's a, a very symbiotic relationship between the two of them, I think, where they both learn an awful lot of the, um, the traps in life. She's somebody who, not been marginalized, but has been put in a, in a certain place, and she wonders if there's more. She reaches out to this professor, and he's at the other end, and he, he knows so much and feels so little, and she feels so much and doesn't know as much. Frank is in his mid-50s, um, middle class, highly educated, lecturing in English literature. It's personally a very challenging role because it absolutely resonates for all sorts of reasons. Not to put or, you know, too much of a cliche on it, but midlife crisis. I'm excited about educating Rita, playing Rita, because um, I think it can, it's one of those stories that just for maybe uh, if, even if it's just one, but it, it has the potential to really touch quite a few individuals who come and see the show. Well, first and foremost, I think, I think there's a lot of humour in, in its... It, it, it's, it's got some quite dark aspects, but they're dealt with very humorously, which, to me, enhances the depth and, and the darkness. I think, it's, I think it's a challenging piece of theatre, potentially, for an audience in, in a really good way. I think it's life-affirming and uplifting. She's so brave and, and everyone's told her one thing, that she's, that she's this one thing. And so many people get boxed and it's not necessarily your parents' fault or society's fault. You just, you just do, you just slot in. It's genuinely enjoyable. Um, you get a little bit of a taste of the English humour. It's a, a well-respected, um, tried and tested piece of theatre. It, it clearly does resonate with people.